हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सलोनी एंड वेलकम बैक टू कोडेरा सो टूडे वी विल सी टॉप ट्वेंटी टेक्निकल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच आर फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्ड इन द इन्फोसिस एंड आई विल ऑल्सो टेल यू दैट हाउ यू कैन आंसर दोज क्वेश्चन विच विल इंक्रीज योर चांसेस ऑफ गेटिंग सिलेक्टेड एंड नाउ इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द इन्फोसिस इंटरव्यू देन दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू सो प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन so here is our first and important question which is also a universal question that is tell me something about yourself so this question is asked in almost every company not only in the technical interview but also in hr and mr interview so you must have to prepare this answer now i will tell you the tips to answer this question so first thing is never memorize the answer as this question is asked by the interviewer because he wanted to know about you who you are and what knowledge you have so this should be like a conversation so please don't memorize your introduction so your answer should be in a proper sequence you can give your answer in form of timeline so you can start from your personal introduction like from where you are and you can also tell him about your family and then tell him about your education after that tell him about your projects that you have done in your graduation and then the technical knowledge you have and in last you can share your achievements and your other interest and please remember one thing always tell the truth in your introduction so that if the interviewer ask you something from your introduction part then you can you will be able to answer those questions and one more important thing is don't give a very long answer for this question so your answer should be brief and properly communicated so our next question is tell me about your project so interviewer will ask you to describe your project on which you have worked during your graduation or during your any internship so he just wanted to know that how and where you implemented your knowledge so to encounter this question first you tell him what was your project and explain its complete working and if it was a group project then also tell him about your group members and also tell him from where do you get the idea to create that project if your project is based on some real life problem and then mention which technology you used to build that project and why and explain him how your project is beneficial to solve the real world problems so in this way you can beautifully answer this question so after this question his next question will be what were the difficulties you face in your project so the intention behind asking this question is that the interviewer wants to know about your problem solving skills so mention only those problem or difficulties which you have faced in your project and successfully solve them so first you tell him about the difficulties and then explain what approaches you used to solve those problems or difficulties and if you worked in a team then don't forget to mention about the team members in problem solving so by doing that you are telling the interviewer that you are also a team player so it will be very beneficial for you so after this question he may ask you what was your role in the project so here you can describe your work and responsibility in the project for example if you are a back end developer so describe him about the modules on which you have worked in the project and you can also tell him the importance of the technology that you have used try to show him that you are a good learner and you learn many thing from your project so this is how you can answer this question now our next question is what is sdlc or software development life cycle so this question is also very important because this sdlc is the base to develop any application or software so you should know for developing any software what are the step you have to follow so basically this sdlc consists of six stages that is requirement analysis design implementation testing deployment and maintenance so here you have to describe all six stages very briefly that what work is done in each stage so our next question is what is the difference between agile and waterfall model 
सो गाइज अगेन दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड विद द सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट प्रोसेस सो दिस टू आर द मैथडोलॉजीज यूज फॉर सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट सो हियर यू कैन मैंशन द एडवांटेज एंड डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ बोथ दी मॉडल एंड ऑल्सो टेल देम वैन वी शूड यूज विच मॉडल और आई ऑल्सो सजेस्ट यू टू हैव द नॉलेज दैट योर प्रोजेक्ट इज डेवलप्ड ऑन विच मॉडल एंड वाई बिकॉज द इंटरव्यूअर वॉन्टेड टू नो योर प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज अबाउट द सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट सो नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन फोर मेजर ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग कंसेप्ट इन जावा सो टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन स्टार्ट बाई गिविंग स्मॉल डेफिनेशन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग एंड देन यू कैन स्पेसिफाई दैट फोर मेजर कंसेप्ट विच आर इनकेप्सुलेशन एब्सट्रेक्शन इनहेरिटेंस एंड पॉलीमोर्फिजम आफ्टर दैट एक्सप्लेन ऑल दी फोर कंसेप्ट विथ रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल एंड हियर रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वेन यू टेल द इंटरव्यूअर अबाउट दिस एग्जाम्पल्स देन ही बी कैम टू नो दैट यू रियली नो दिस कंसेप्ट एंड इट्स वर्किंग एट दैट मोमेंट यू आर नॉट लाइक दोज कैंडिडेट हु जस्ट मेमोराइज द डेफिनेशन सो दिस रियल वर्ल्ड एग्जाम्पल विल एड मोर क्रेडिट इन योर सिलेक्शन सो गाइज अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डी बी एम एस एंड आर डी बी एम एस सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ वीडियो ऑन दैट सो यू विल फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड इन दैट वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन देयर डिफरेंसेज पॉइंट बाय पॉइंट विद द एग्जाम्पल्स सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली रेफर दैट वीडियो फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन आंसर लाइक इन आर डी बी एम एस वी स्टोर डेटा इन टेबल यूजिंग रो एंड कॉलम वाइल इन डी बी एम एस वी यूज फाइल्स फॉर स्टोरिंग द डेटा सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन बट आई वुड सजेस्ट यू टू रेफर दैट वीडियो सो दैट यू कैन परफेक्टली प्रिपेयर फॉर द आंसर नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज वर्चुअल फंक्शन इन सी प्लस प्लस सो इफ यू हैव मैंशन अबाउट सी प्लस प्लस इन योर इंट्रोडक्शन और इन योर रिज्यूमे सो ही कैन आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन सो टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट यू शुड गिव द ब्रीफ डेफिनेशन ऑफ द वर्चुअल फंक्शन दैट इट इज अ मेम्बर फंक्शन इन द पेरेंट क्लास विच वी रीडिफाइन इन द चाइल्ड क्लास और यू कैन ऑल्सो एड फ्यू मोर सेंटेंसेज इन द डेफिनेशन एंड देन यू टेल हिम इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस अलॉन्ग विद द यूजेज so it is also possible that he may ask you to write the code for the virtual function so be prepared with the syntax so our next question is to find the second highest salary in sql so in this question interviewer wanted to know about your sql knowledge so i have also created a video on this question where you will find how you can solve this query in five different ways because sometime interviewer told you to solve the same question with some other approach so you should also know that so for that video you can check out the description box or you can also click the i button so guys this question is very important not only for the interview but also for the written assessment so guys in this video i have only covered 10 question and in the upcoming video i will cover the next 10 question so guys please keep watching code era and don't forget to share our video and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching